The following content is provided by a I Am Refocused radio contributor. Pastor Vera McEwen with Love God Ministries will be sharing today's message. And now, here is your host, Pastor Vera McEwen. Genesis chapter 9, verses 8 through 17. Then God said to Noah and to his sons with him, I now establish my covenant with you and with your descendants after you and with every living creature that was with you, the birds, the livestock, and all the animals, all those that came out of the ark with you, every living creature on earth. I establish my covenant with you. Never again will all life be destroyed by the waters of a flood. Never again will there be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, this, this is the sign of the covenant I am making between me and you and every living creature with you. A covenant to all and for all generations to come. I have set my rainbow in the clouds and it will be the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. Whenever I bring clouds over the earth and the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will remember my covenant between me and you and all living creatures of every kind. Never again will the waters become a flood to destroy all life. Whenever the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and all living creatures of every kind on the earth. So God said to Noah, this is the sign of the covenant I have established between me and all life on the earth. Psalm 25. In you, Lord my God, I put my trust. I trust in you. Do not let me be put to shame, nor let my enemies triumph over me. No one who hopes in you will ever be put to shame, but shame will come on those who are treacherous without cause. Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. Remember, Lord, your great mercy and love, for they are from old. Do not remember the sins of my youth and my rebellious ways according to your love. Remember me, for you, Lord, are good. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, God instructs sinners in their ways. God guides the humble in what is right and teaches them the way of the Lord. All the ways of the Lord are loving and faithful toward those who keep the demands of the Lord's covenant. First Peter, chapter 3, verses 18 through 22. 
For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, to bring you to God. Christ was put to death in the body, but made alive in the spirit. After being made alive, he went and made proclamation to the imprisoned spirits, to those who were disobedient long ago when God waited patiently in the days of Noah while the ark was being built. In it, only a few people, eight in all, were saved through water. And this water symbolizes baptism that now saves you also. Not the removal of dirt from the body, but the pledge of a clear conscience toward God. It saves you by the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at God's right hand with angels and authorities and powers in submission to God. The reading of the Gospel, Mark chapter 1, verses 9 through 15. At that time, Jesus came to Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. Just as Jesus was coming up out of the water, he saw heaven being torn open and the Spirit descending on him like a dove and a voice came from heaven you are my son whom I love with you I am well pleased at once the spirit sent him out into the wilderness and he was in the wilderness 40 days being tempted by Satan he was with the wild animals, and angels attended him. After John was put in prison, Jesus went to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God. The time has come, he said. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Repent and believe the good news the gospel reading 2024 the year of more wisdom more wealth more health and well-being and wealth that is what we've declared this year and as we walk through wellness, we want to ensure our belief on wellness and what it means through the word of God to be well, to be healed by the resurrected Jesus Christ through our baptism of water. Wellness is holy, is what we declared at the beginning of this month, just last week. Can you say it with me? Wellness is holy. To be well is to be a being blessed by God, a being healed by God, a being willing to allow the healing waters of baptism to restore you 
to your whole self, your whole being. Wellness is holy. And as you can see from the scripture readings this week, wellness is in the water. Can you say that with me? Wellness is in the water. Not just any water, but water blessed with word, but water blessed with the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, water blessed with the covenant of God. Wellness is holy. Wellness is in the water and wellness is mental health, mental acuity, mental well-being. Turn with me back to that first scripture that we read and listened to. We said that 2024 was the year of more and we're diving into the word and we want you to be diving into the word every week, every day. So let's take a look at Genesis. Genesis is in the Old Testament. Genesis chapter 9, it's the very first book of the Old Testament. And we're going to hone in specifically on verse 13. Can you read it with me? This is God speaking to Noah. God is saying, I have set my what? Rainbow. Doesn't that just make you feel automatically glorious, automatically wonderful, illuminated, filled with a brightness, rainbow? Can you imagine a rainbow in your head? I know that when most people see a rainbow, they want to tell everybody around, look, there's a, look, there's a rainbow. And have you ever said a, seen a double rainbow or a triple rainbow? Look, there's a rainbow and it, it elevates you. And God says, I have set my rainbow in the clouds and it will be a sign, a glorious sign of the covenant between you and me and between me and the entire earth. God includes all creation in this covenant, in this scripture. What is a rainbow made of? We're declaring 2024 the year of more, more wellness. And we say that wellness is holy. We say that wellness is in the what? We know that a rainbow is made of tiny, 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 tiny drops of water. And what else? This is the beauty of the rainbow, especially when God says, my rainbow, whenever you see the rainbow, it's a covenant between you and me. It's a covenant between the tiny, tiny drips of water. And what? That's, that's right, Braylon, light. It is water and light in this glorious, colorful reflection of God in God's covenant. Wellness is holy. Wellness is in the tiny, tiny drops of the rainbow. In water, wellness is mental health. The second reading can be found in the Psalms. Psalm 25. We're going to hone in on verse 5 specifically. It's a psalm of David. And David speaks to the Noah passage as an old covenant, as an old combination of synergy, as an old combination of community in God with all creation. And here in verse 5, are you there with me? It says, guide me in your truth. Teach me, for you are God. You are my Savior and my mm, hope. My hope. My hope, like those tiny, tiny drops 
of water illuminated by light to create a rainbow. My hope is in that covenant, that being with you in this synergy, in this community, in this knowing together, in this joining together with all creation and Savior. My hope is in you. How long? Just a minute? Okay, half hour. And now, my hope is in you all day long. Wellness. Wellness is holy. Wellness is in the tiny, tiny drops of water that are illuminated by the light of a rainbow. Wellness is in the water. Wellness is mental health. Turn with me to 1 Peter. 1 Peter is in the New Testament. It's after all of the Gospels, toward, toward the Revelations. 1 Peter chapter 3, and we're going to hone in on verse 21. Can you read it there with me, Jake? It says, and this water, the tiny, tiny, tiny drops of the rainbow, this water illuminated by the light, this water, this water blessed with the word in a joining, in a synergy, in a, mm, the, the word that is within this scripture that we're going to read in Greek is seneteseos. Seneteseos, you pronounce this the heavily. And that word is a combination of words. The, the sin is a joining. And the seneteseos is, of course, that knowledge, the joining of knowledge. So let's read this scripture. Verse 21, it says, and this water symbolizes baptism that now saves you. That's you and me. Saves you and saves me. Not the removal of dirt, but the pledge of seneteseos. Seneteseos. Theseos is that knowledge in a community of knowledge with Jesus Christ, in a community of knowledge with the Spirit, in a community of knowledge with God who created the covenant with tiny, tiny drops and remembers that covenant, tiny, tiny drops of water illuminated by the light. A conscience, a seneteseos, a synergy in a community and joining with and toward God. Wellness. Wellness is holy. Wellness is in the water. Wellness is mental health. Finally, turn with me to the gospel reading today. The gospel reading can be found in Mark, the first chapter. And it says in verse 10, just as Jesus, just as Jesus was coming up out of that water, his skin glistening with those tiny, tiny drops of water, in the, the baptism in the Jordan, the Spirit, the Holy Spirit communes with these tiny, tiny drops and Jesus is also in community now with the drops of God's amazing covenant with the spirit. And here we have resurrection and triune in the water of baptism. And it says, as Jesus was coming up out of the water, he saw heaven being torn open and the spirit descending on him like a dove. When you read these scriptures in community, in a unity, and you join them together with this knowledge of God, with this knowledge of Jesus, with this knowledge of spirit in the resurrection, we have that synetheseos, that joining 
that knowing, that knowing of water, making us holy through word, literally, and spirit, and God in triune, wellness is holy. Wellness is in the water, and wellness is mental health. It is important when we think of wellness and being in a community where we're thinking of more. It's not just the physical wellness and the, and the pumping of iron and the running and the being well physically. It's the being well mentally, spiritually, in your soul, in your physicality as well. And as we focus on mental wellness, we need to also recognize that there is wellness in the water, Blake. Wellness in the water. And that wellness, studies have shown that that wellness improves our mental health. This past Saturday, just yesterday, I was walking, hiking in nature. One of the things for me that helps with my mental well-being, helps with my mental health, is being out in nature. And I walk past this one spring that I can hear, this water gurgling and churning. And I always stop and I listen. Studies have shown that waterscapes, like creeks and oceans, and being near big waters or even small waters, increase mental acuity. They also decrease mental anxiety and mental depression. You see, wellness is in the water and mental health and acuity can be boosted within and being around waterscapes. Studies have shown that baths improve mental anxiety, improve mental depression, improve acuity. So they take away all of that anxiety. They take away and allow you to relax. Bathing in water because water is wellness. Studies have also shown that drinking water, drinking water can depress anxiety, can depress also depression and can increase mental acuity. You see that wellness is in the water. Wellness is holy. Water that is blessed with word and word and sacrament changes the molecular structure of water, making it even more holy. Wellness is holy and wellness is in the water and wellness is mental health. Now you may be thinking, well, Vera, you know, those are kind of light mental health things and you're absolutely right. And here we are in Black History Month, and I think it's important to recognize some of our founding people who were and created breakthroughs within mental well-being. And I will begin with Dr. Solomon, Solomon Codter Fuller, medical doctor. He was a pioneering psychiatrist. He, in partnership with Elios Alzheimer, helped discover the traits of Alzheimer's disease. He spent most of his time working in a mental institution 
performing groundbreaking research on the physical changes in the brain. When we speak of mental health, it is in the water, yes, but that does not mean that if you are in any mental state, that you feel that you cannot move through on your own, that you shouldn't seek out mental assistance, assistance with your health and well-being. And I give you this phone number, write it down, 800-969-6642. We also cannot move forward in Black History Month without recognizing the contributions to our children of African descent, our black children, by a Mamie Phipps Clark, PhD as a doctor. She was one of the first women of African descent to earn a doctorate in psychology from Columbia University. She's known for the doll study with her and her husband, Dr. Kenneth Bancroft Clark. They worked together to help provide founding research to help improve the lives of each and every child through school segregation. When we think about mental health, mental well-being, it is important to recognize and remember those in our history who contribute to our mental well-being. It's also important to recognize that if you have signs of depression that you are unable to walk through, signs of anxiety that you cannot manipulate through yourself, then you may want to seek out assistance with your mental health. And that number again is 800-969-6642. I truly believe that God, through the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, desires health and well-being for each and every one of you, for all creation, as it says in Genesis chapter 9. In a synergy with God, in a synthesis, yes, in that joining in knowledge with God to fuel our wellness and our whole being through the tiny, tiny drooly drops of rain that create a covenantal rainbow with you and God and His Son, Jesus Christ, resurrected and raised through the holy baptism in spirit and truth. Wellness is holy wellness is in the water wellness is mental health and because mental health is so important i will repeat that phone number one more time 800-969-6642 May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always as you find wellness in the water. Hey, it's Shamai Reed with I Am Refocus Radio. Make sure you go to IamRefocusRadio.com to listen to today's episode. Once again, like we always say, keep God first, stay focused, and peace. Peace.